Hello, friends! And I am here to read to you some special stories. Mindful Max's Farming Focus Finger Frames by Mary Catherine Ralston. Dedicated to Max, your optimism, energy, and get her done attitude inspires and leads. Rooted deep in the heart of a land that stretches between seas, a golden grain yoga mat rustles, cracks, and whispers in the breeze. Under brilliant baby blue skies, crickets sing and surf on sprouting, swaying stalks. Grounded, gazing, and guessing, Max is mesmerized by cotton clouds and high soaring hawks. Max stretches, stands, and frames the sky, land, and white house with tanned and freckled hands. I see the horizon spreads forever flat under the sky domed farmlands. Running Max shouts, I'm going home to paint the sun, earth, and sky. Max flutters, twirls, and skips with reaching arms, pretending to be a butterfly. Max paints with broad strokes and stands back, smiling with pride. Lucky Max's pony nods and neighs, <laughs> signaling it's time to go on a galloping joy ride. Max's dad yells, make it fast, I need help doing chores around here. You need to make your bed, rake leaves, feed the chicks, then you can ride with me on the John Deere. Max finger frames Lucky, then mounts the pony singing. Ma and Pa said they gave me life, now it's my turn to make my life. Giddy up Lucky, we have so much to do. They follow the flat wheat horizon while whispering winds paint clouds on the sky so blue. Max finishes the chores, then joins Pa at the tractor and learns how to chuck the oil. Max, we're going to see if the wheat grains are crunchy and not falling on the soil. Pa breaks a few wheat stalks while Max frames the heads admiring their detail. Then Pa and Max pop the grains in their mouths, chew and smile as the wheat passes the crunch scale. The wheat is ready for harvest. Let's go tell Ma and have lunch. Helping Pa steer, Max grins. Pa, this is the best. Thanks a whole bunch. Max runs into the kitchen to wash hands at the sink, then finger frames the meal. This is the best day, my favorite mac and cheese, and guess what, Ma? Pa let me take the steering wheel. After eating, Ma asks, Did you forget to do a chore this morning? The first most important task of the day? Max shrugs, winces, Whoops! I guess I forgot, but I'll do it now, okay? Ma nods, be fast, then we can do some baking and sewing. Max's fingers frame the tidy bed, smiling and glowing. Ma, it's done. Can we make cookies in a superhero cape? In no time, cookies are in the oven and Max is feeding cloth through the machine as the cape takes shape. Max beams ear to ear, then frames cookie and cape with fingers and hands. Max helps clean the mess and declares, I'm heading out to practice golf. Ride my bike, skip, and throw balls at cans. Mid-afternoon, Max finds Lucky, slowly grazing on some hay. Lucky, let's head out for a ride before the clouds grow and the sky turns gray. 
Max picks a carrot, rubs off the dirt, then feeds it to Lucky. You don't need it peeled. Lucky gently takes it and munches. Then they trot to the pond in the backyard field. At the pond, Max dismounts and scours the shore, framing muddy fingers to help hunt for insects and tiny fish. Under the tree, Lucky munches on grass while the skies grow grayer and the winds swish. Suddenly, Lucky starts prancing and neighing, <coughs> giving off a weather warning. Max feels the temperature drop and the winds start howling. Lucky, we've got to go home. In a flash, it will be storming. Max hops on Lucky, holding tight while galloping through the wind and flying debris. At home, Pa takes Lucky. You certainly push limits and live life to the max. Ma sighs and squeezes Max with glee. Quick, it will probably hail, so we must close the blinds and put pillows against the glass. In no time, they hear rapid pellets hit the roof and see hail the size of golf balls hit the grass. Magically, the pelting and winds stop. Max peers out, finger framing the sky and yells, Look, Ma and Pa, there's a rainbow. I hope that's a good sign. Pa smiles. I think it is, Max. It stopped quickly, so our wheat crop should be fine. After dinner, they roast marshmallows by a fire pit under the moon's glowing, mystical sky. A symphony of chirping crickets and gentle breezes sigh as the amber wheat rustles, dislodging, dancing fireflies.